Am I too old to wear Yeezys? I could have stopped that sentence halfway through and just said, am I too old? And a half of you would have said yes. And then I continued to say, to wear Yeezy. And the rest of you said, yes, butter, you're too old to wear Yeezys. But is that the question? The question is, am I too old to wear Yeezys? Are you too old to wear Yeezys? Is there a limit to the age at which people can wear Yeezys? And that's the question I have to answer in today's video because I'm bringing you a look at the upcoming release of the Yeezy 700 Inertias. And it's finally a 700 that I'm kind of maybe thinking I could get behind because I'm not a huge fan of the 700 line but then if it is a sneaker a Yeezy that I can get behind you have to ask the question if I can get behind it if I can buy it could I even rock it am I too old to wear Yeezys So today we're looking at the upcoming release of the Yeezy 700 Inertia from the Adidas brand. Uh, and I talked yesterday about another Adidas. It was the Adidas ZX4040 Onyx. And the thing that was uh, that I was talking about yesterday was that I didn't really appreciate previous 4Ds except the Daniel Arsham line. Uh, I didn't really appreciate previous 4Ds and I thought they were wasted. And then here, yesterday's Onyx was a sneaker I could get behind. And that is paralleled in today's video because I don't really get the 700 line. I did do a review of the Salt 700s recently where I asked that question, you know, I don't get this sneaker out there, please tell me what I'm missing. And here I am again today doing exactly the same thing is that I, I've, uh, I've panned this line of sneakers, these 700s for many, many weeks, but here I am saying this is one that I might actually get behind. But even if I could buy it, could I rock it? Who knows, I might try it someday. I might put these guys on feet and you can tell me out there if old butter here with his graying hair and his sagging eyes could rock a pair of Yeezys. I think you could rock a pair of Yeezys if you're 80, uh, even though I'm not 80 for before you start like hitting me up with comments down below about being 80 and looking good for my age. Uh, I think that anyone could rock a pair of Yeezys, but these particular ones, it's a pair that I could get behind. So it's nice to actually finally have a 700 colorway come out that I think does the sneaker justice and is a sneaker that I could get behind. So today we'll be having a look at that Adidas Yeezy 700 inertia. So as I said before, I did a review of the Salt 700s and in that review, I looked at the structure of the 700 line from Adidas, you know, the different panels and the different materials and things like that. And that was only, was it a week ago? I think it was a week ago. Um, and it wasn't too long ago anyway. So there's no point in me repeating myself and going through the structure of the 700. So today what we'll do is we'll focus on the actual aesthetic of the 700 rather than the actual structure and the materials that are used to build it. But before I quickly do that, I will quickly do this, which is tell you that tomorrow we're looking at Air Jordan 1 Phantom, an absolute cracker of a sneaker. I've already gotten behind quite a few Air Jordan 1s this season, particularly I got behind the neutral greys where I said that this is the sneaker of the year already. Uh, and then here we are, another one that's not dissimilar to that neutral grey, turbo green, and then here we have those Phantoms. So tomorrow, keep an eye out for that review from me or preview, I'm not allowed to call them reviews, people get on my case when I call them reviews, a preview of the upcoming release of the Air Jordan 1 Phantom, a cracking looking sneaker. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you stay tuned every single day for that daily content from this Tokyo Butter 23 sneaker channel. Mainichi absuru no de, mainichi mite hosi no de, zehi toroku shite kudasai. I do try and slip into Japanese a little bit, although I haven't done a very good job of that this week, so I apologize to the Japanese viewers out there for not getting more Japanese into the videos. Nihongo wa mochi to itogi desu. Sori ga wakarimasu ga, ano konshi wa izogashikute, ano nanga tama yoku irete nai no desu sumimasen. So the Inertia 700s, I said we'd have a look at the aesthetics of the sneaker rather than the structure of them. Uh, and to me, what I see is a light blue sneaker. That's that's what I see, and I'm really really surprised to read that they're supposed to be grey. And I'm like, they can't know. Grey, what? The, everywhere I've looked, every every place online I've had a look and, and people's, uh, you know, dropping stuff on social media and Instagram, things like that, light grey, they're, they're grey, they're grey, different shades of grey, that kind of stuff. Uh, but I see light blue and I was wondering if it's like that dress. Do you remember that dress from a couple of years ago that was, uh, is it white and grey? Blue? No, that wasn't it. Was it white and gold or blue and black or something like that? I can't remember the colours. I'll pop a screenshot up here so you can see what I'm talking about. And maybe that's the thing with these uh, Yeezy inertias. Do some people see light blue and some people see grey? Tell me in the comments down below what, what it is that you see. Do you see light blue or do you see grey? I see light blue and I like that. Uh, if it is a light blue sneaker, I'm on it. But if it is a grey sneaker, just like the Salts were a couple of weeks ago, I'm not really into that. But light blue, I dig it. I think they really look good and the light blue aesthetic of 
the sneaker is an actual winner to me. So throughout that upper there in those different sections, the different panels, some made of different materials, suede, leather and mesh, I think are the, the primary materials of the upper. And they have those different colors and different shades of light blue is what I'm gonna say. Uh, but they're offset on the midsole by two flashes of orange and they're really key, those flashes of orange. I'm not a huge fan of the Wave Runners. I know a lot of people got behind them, but I thought the Wave Runners were too busy. There were too many different colors going on in there. And the orange flashes on the midsole of the Wave Runners were just a bit too much in that whole sort of, if you look at holistically at the Wave Runner sneaker. But here with the light blue, without the orange flashes, it wouldn't look good. You need those orange flashes on there to bring a bit of difference, a bit of variety into the sneaker. And to me, that really works. The different subtle shades of light blue throughout the upper and then offset with a pop of orange on the midsole, I think is a really, really good looking uh, option on these sneakers. I think it really, they really do pull it off. And what they also pull off is that outsole on there, which is a sort of off-white colored outsole uh, a lot of the previous 700s have had black outsoles on them. So having an off-white on here with those light tones in the upper and the orange there on the side, I think it all works well together to bring you that unity of the sneaker. And I say yes to these inertias. I think they're really, really good looking. And then if you do flip them upside down, have a look, you've got those windows on the outsole that look through to the midsole and it is that massive, chunky boost midsole. So you're assured, you're absolutely guaranteed a hell of a ride in these things. They're comfortable, guaranteed when you get boost front to back like that big chunky boost as well like we've got here it's definitely going to be a smooth ride and definitely these things are going to be comfortable to have on foot so that the combination there of the uh what is it off-white outsole and then you've got the flash of orange and then the light different shades of blue throughout the upper i think it all works well together i think this looks really good for the 700 line not a huge fan of these 700s i'm not really a huge fan of the dad sneaker vibe that's going on right now i don't think i could rock it um so i couldn't do in that case, maybe I couldn't rock Yeezys at all. Um, V2 350s, yes, I'm behind those. I like them very, very much, especially some of the colorways. Uh, some I'm not a huge fan of, don't like the gum soles. Um, but the V2 350s, yes. I'm not sure about these 700s and 500s though. I haven't liked any of the previous 700s that have come out. Do kind of like the look of this one, but I'm really not, I don't think I'll be getting them in hand anytime soon, let's say. There's other things out there like tomorrow's Air Jordan 1 Phantoms that I definitely want to get in hand. So uh, we'll, we'll leave these inertias for another day, shall we say. So that's my uh, preview of the upcoming release of the Adidas Inertias, the 700s from the Yeezy line. They're an interesting looking sneaker, a good colorway if you ask me. Will definitely sell well, will probably sell well. The Salt sold out in a flash last week, which surprised me because I thought the hype was kind of dying down on the Yeezy line a bit there, but it seems like the 700s still hold a bit of hype there, even if the V2 350s don't because the triple white sat and I think continue to sit here in Japan, which is a bit of a surprise. But these 700s, uh, the Inertias, I think will probably do pretty well as the salts did last week and sell out pretty fast so if you're interested get them as in hand as quickly as you possibly can myself i don't think i'll go for them to be honest even though they are my favorite 700 they're still not a sneaker that i'm chasing after right now like i said those aj1 uh phantoms tomorrow would be much more my kind of thing to look for so uh so that's my review or preview again uh, my preview of the upcoming inertias i hope you appreciate what i brought you today if you did hit the subscribe button down below i really appreciate how we're growing this channel together it's only been a couple of months maybe three months that I've been bringing you daily content. So I appreciate the support. For now, I have to check off and thank you for checking in. And I'll tell you, as I do at the end of every single video, that you can guarantee that you'll see me tomorrow.